Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Now, I hate doing that intro when I know that one, the majority of people who watch these videos will be Arsenal fans and two, that we got absolutely embarrassed last night. We embarrassed ourselves, we lost 3-0 to Liverpool and quite honestly it was the worst performance I've seen all season. It was one of the worst performances I think I've ever seen as an Arsenal fan and I've seen some bad, bad performances from Arsenal. I'm just going to talk generally about the game in this video. Quite honestly, I don't have loads to say because I think pretty much every player was shocking last night. Um, I thought I would sleep on it and see how I felt this morning. I still feel really, really angry about it. I thought maybe I'd feel better, see some positives, but I do not feel anything positive from last night. Um, I'm sorry this is going to be quite a negative video. I don't like putting negative content out there, but I've got to be honest, this is how I feel. So let's get into the video. So, of course, we went into this game with a few injuries. Um, Granit Xhaka was out, David Luiz, Saka and Emil Smith-Rowe. So, we did have a lot of changes in the starting eleven. But, to be honest with you, I wasn't that worried. I thought the, the personnel that we had put out would be good enough to at least give Liverpool a game. At least to show a bit of fight, a bit of passion, a bit of, you know, wanting to actually win the game. But, we saw absolutely none of that last night. I'm really, really impressed to even make this video because I cannot think of one positive from last night. Now normally when we play badly you can sort of say oh well this player played quite well or this looked quite good. There is none of that from last night. There was no evident style of play. Everybody looked we just looked really, really awful in every single aspect. There are a few players um, that I think played really, really badly, and some of them have been playing badly for a few weeks now. Um, one that I'm going to name is Bern Leno. Um, I can't believe I'm even saying that because seasons ago, sort of last season, the season before, he was one of our best players. He was one that you could always rely on, um, but recently he has not been good. Um, I don't know what's going on there. He keeps getting beaten at his near post. It's just kind of embarrassing that he is sort of going down this spiral. I really, really hope he can get back to how he was before because he is looking like a liability at the moment. Another one is Aubameyang. I've said this in previous videos. He is not captain material. He has been dreadful lately. How many chances are we going to give him? Um, I think Arteta needs to take the armband off him. I really, really do. There are so many other players who could lead this team more effectively. Aubameyang is just not the one for me. I think the senior Arsenal players need to take a long, hard look at themselves. It's so embarrassing that we can't seem to win a game or show any fight unless we have the likes of Bukayo Saka, who's 19 years old, and Emil Smith-Rowe, who's 20 years old in the team. If they're not there, then our team just looks really, really dead. They don't show up. It's embarrassing. These players, a lot of them have got years and years of experience in the, playing in the top level leagues and they're also paid such massive wages and they just don't show up. They don't act like they care. It's so embarrassing. It should be the older players, the more experienced ones, showing the youngsters that this is how we go about it. This is the mindset we need. But it's the reverse. It's so, so embarrassing and just shocking. I saw a lot of people on social media last night questioning Arteta, calling for Arteta's head and if you watch my videos regularly you'll know that I do normally back Arteta, I trust the process so to speak, but last night when you see a performance like that you do have to question every single aspect and that does include Mikel Arteta. Now the players played really really badly, that can be on them, but you do also have to question the manager, the tactics, the way he is running this team, operating things. Um, he does make a lot of bizarre decisions. We've known that for a while now. One thing that really, really does annoy me is when we start Aubameyang and Lacazette together. Obviously Aubameyang on the wing and then Lacazette up front. Even Freddie Lundberg, all that time ago when he was interim manager, said that you cannot start those two players together. It does not work. So the fact that we're still trying with that is just really, really frustrating to see. I do think that if we keep dropping performances like that, that Arteta's job is definitely going to be on the line. I think he needs to be ruthless. I think he needs to start dropping players that don't turn up week in, week out. He just needs to drop them and he also needs to get a new captain. Now, I love Aubameyang. I think he is a great player. He's done so much for the club in recent seasons, but... Firstly, he is not captain material. I don't think he ever was captain material. There are much better candidates that we have who could lead this team 
much more effectively than he does. To be honest, he doesn't really do anything as captain for me. Um, you might disagree, but that is just my opinion on that. Um, yeah, I just think if, uh, if Arteta is not ruthless, if he doesn't start making some massive changes to this team, then his job is definitely, definitely on the line. I hate to say it and admit it, but I do think that the Premier League is completely over for us this season. I think we need to just forget about it and focus entirely on the Europa League. Um, top four is way, way out of the window. Um, top six is looking very unlikely as well. I know we do have quite a nice run in from here to the end of the season. I think the hardest team we've got to face is Chelsea. Having said that, we did beat them last time and I mean, they dropped an absolute shocker yesterday, didn't they, against West Brom. Um, but yeah, for me, I think the league is definitely a write-off for us. All our, beg all, our begs, all our eggs need to go into the basket for the Europa League. Um, this Thursday's game is now just so, so massive. I'm actually really, really nervous about it. We have got to get some goals against Slavia Prague in this first leg. I cannot deal with the stress of the second leg, trying to come back from a defeat or just try and keep things at nil-nil because it's Arsenal. Nothing is ever that easy. We need to get some goals on Thursday night, otherwise I just cannot deal with the stress of this team. The Europa League is really our only chance of success this season, so I am very, very ready for it. I think we just need to put the league behind us. Let's just forget about it. Forget about all the disappointment that we've had from that this season and focus on Thursday. So guys, that is the end of the video. I'm sorry that it's so short and that it's so negative. I really hate making videos like this. Hopefully going forward, they can be more positive, especially on Thursday night. I know that a lot of our rival fans will be backing Arsenal due to the allegations of racism that have come out against Slavia Prague. Um, I've looked into this quite deeply and I really, really don't like the club's um, response to the allegations, what I've seen about them. I really, really want to beat this team more than I would any other team. Um, racism is totally unacceptable and we need to kick it out. I really hope everyone does get behind Arsenal for Thursday night. If you're new here, please do smash a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I really, really appreciate your support. Also, comment down below, let me know your thoughts for the Slavia Prague game and also your thoughts on last night's game if you want. If you don't want to relive it, I do not blame you um, and I'll see you guys all in the next one which will be my match review for Thursday night's game. I almost forgot to give a shout out to all of the people who said they got 10 out of 10 on the quiz I made, my last video, so I will put all of the people who said they got 10 out of 10 on the screen around me now. I um, hope you guys all have a really great week and I'll see you in the next one.